Librarian by the very cool people at Apps for Amps, <clears throat> now available. Pretty cool. Um, as you can see, we've got just about exactly the same things that we have in the PC or Mac editor. We have amplifier types, cabinets. Let's just see if I got some sound there. Let's take a look. So I can switch the cabs. Cool function here is that we can have no cab. Oh, isn't that fuzzy? That's good for your direct to the mixing console through a distortion battle type sound. Look. of course just, uh, we have all the functions I've got the noise suppressor the noise gate sorry I'm just going to turn that on there we go so I can have that nice fizzy guitar sound when I need it for recording which is a really really cool thing I can store up to 100 hey one of my kids doing that I can store up to uh, 100 presets on this Continue. Yes, I know I've edited it. Everything's editable. Here you can see how I do my uh, filter trick when I'm not using the delay to get a different kind of sound. Of course, if I, if I take away that delay, I'll now get that kind of sound and then something more realistic. Oh, it's pretty cool. There are some decent presets with it as well. I'm on a THR-10, so the, the THR-10C and X and uh, acoustic sounds don't really work as such, but here's like the rock lead sound from the THR. If I can edit that, I just click on it and edit it. So we're on the lead amplifier that I need to I need to boost that input a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put the compressor on. I'll take a look at these options. I'm gonna take my sustain right down. Hey, I got more gain, so I'm, I can goose it with that compressor, as I've said in other videos. You can do all this stuff, all the stuff that you can do with the regular um, editor, which is really, really great if you're going to the studio or something to record with the THR and you don't want to lug around your laptop with you. So all you need is just one tiny adapter uh, to micro USB to be able to use it. Pretty cool. So let's go back to let's see what other features we've got. So I can just save a patch like this. Rock lead. One, there we go. See, and it's in there. Okay. So I'm going to edit this. I've got a gate on there, it's a bit noisy. A little bit more gain there. I'm going to stick some rev uh, different reverb on it, maybe. A bit more time. A little bit more pre delay. Take the level up. Oh, that's extreme. Let's take it down a bit. We should have some nice. Okay, <clears throat> just broken a string. 
strings. I'll change guitar. Sorry. Ow. <laughs> One of the other cool features here is that, uh, for example, sorry, wrong one. Go to this menu up here. Amplifier settings. I can turn the power lamp on and off. Switch on the extended stereo. Um, everything reacts in real time and affects maybe even a little bit faster than using the app. Let's change to a strap back now. Uh, so it, it really is a really great app for the price. Um, there are two separate apps that you need to buy. It comes up to about $7, correct me if I'm wrong guy, guys. But it's definitely worth it, I mean, just to have something like this on the go. Again, negate that a little bit. It's probably a bit too much. Too much noise there. Let's see. Again, just to show you once again the, the process. How we do this, I'm going to compress this a little bit. Okay. Store that sound anywhere I want. So, da, 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 da. there you go. Cool little thing. <laughs> save something. all the functionality of the, the PC and Mac based uh, editor but with the additional advantage of being able to turn your lamp on and off which you can't see but believe me it's there <laughs> okay enjoy apps for amps THR librarian Get lost. <laughs> 